Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. This video is a first look at Shure Members, a new WordPress plugin that lets you control access to your website content. Shure Members is a very straightforward and easy to use solution that works with Gutenberg popular page builders and learning management systems. In this video, I'll provide an overview of Shure Members and a walkthrough of using it to secure a section on a website. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps us spread the word about the channel. Sure Members is a premium only plugin, and this is the website. You can create content paywalls, drip feed content, create custom access rules, secure digital downloads, control menu item visibility, and use it with online courses. I have a test site here using the Free Cadence theme, and I set it up to simulate a membership site with an option to join to get access to premium content. There's a page for videos, for ebooks, and for webinars. If we look on the back end in the admin, you can see I have several plugins installed. I have custom post type UI, which I used to create a custom post type called premium content. I have Fluent Forms Free and Pro installed. We'll use that to create a registration form. I have Cadence Blocks, which is what I use to create the home page. Then I have WP Reset Pro, which I use in between testing cycles to reset the site. We did look at these pages on the front end, but there they are in the admin. Okay, so first thing I want to do is let's activate Sure Members. When you activate it, you get a new admin menu area here. And so I need to add my license key. So let me do that. So I paste in the access key and activate the license. All right. And now there are two parts to the Sure Members admin area. Now in the admin area, you can go here to go to the help area or you can click on this menu here for some settings. So you can display Sure Members icon on the block editor. You can restrict content and search results. You can set user roles to decline admin access. You can create user roles. And this is pretty cool. This is not like a full user role management system. These are user roles you can use just for restricting access Okay, so I'll create a user role and we'll call it site members. And then there are redirection rules. Okay. But I want to go back to sure members. And now let's create an access group. Okay, so the first thing we give it a name, member group. And then we pick which content we want to protect. We can do the entire website, and you know that's a common use case. People want to have a password protected website, and this would be a way of achieving that. You can protect posts, all category archives, tag archives, pages, specific pages, posts, taxonomies, etc., or based on the URL. But notice here, premium content. This is the custom post type that I created for the website and Sure Members has picked that up. So this is cool because many plugins create a custom post type and you can see how easy it is to protect that. So I'm gonna choose that. We can exclude post pages, etc. If you wanna set up drip content, you would do it here. That's for when after they join, after so many days or hours or whatever, they get the next bit of content so they don't get all the content at once. You can add files for download. Then over here is what to do when an unauthorized user tries to access the protected content. You can do a redirect to another page automatically or you can give them a message that the content will be hidden and they'll see the message instead. So we'll do a message and we'll say, this is member only content, please join. Okay, and then the button for them to click and then where they're gonna go and we'll just have it go to the home page. That's what happens for unauthorized access. 
Now there's an option here for user role syncing. And this is important because remember I started this process on the settings before we came into access groups and I created a user role. Sure Members works by having these access groups. So I'm just gonna click over to a user profile on another tab. So here's the user profile. And this at the bottom, you see there's this access group. You can add users to groups here. So if we had already created our access group, there would be the option here to add this user to the access group. And some, I'm going to go back now, some plugins and integrations will automatically add users to an access group. And in that case, you don't have to use user roles. Maybe Surecart, for instance, which is a new e-commerce plugin from the same team. But Sure Members has the option where you can use user roles because that's the built-in WordPress method for giving access to sections of the site. Okay, so when you use a user role, here's our user role that we created, site members. What's gonna happen is this is gonna sync to the same settings we have for this group, for this member group. So even if the users aren't added to the access group like I showed you in the user profile it will work for them the same because the user role is synced and then there's a priority option here so I think that would kick in if the user could be in multiple access groups perhaps related to the same content I'm just going to put a 10 in here okay so I'm going to save and you'll notice that you can archive or delete the access group here. Okay, now we have our group. The next thing we need is to allow users to register for the site. And that's why I've installed Fluent Forms Pro. It has an integration option to create user registration or update forms. Okay, so let's go and let's create a form. We'll say a blank form. And we want to have name fields. Let's see, we want to have password fields. And we want to have an email address field. Okay, for the submit button, we'll make it large. And we'll say join now. And normally, if this were available online, you would also add some terms and condition. GDPR agreement, or you could add some sort of CAPTCHA to protect the form from spam. Okay, I'm going to save what we have so far. I'm going to go over to settings and integration. So this by default is saying thank you for your own. Oh, I guess I better give the form a name. Let's go here and give it a name. We'll call it site sign up form. Okay, and then let's go to integrations. Thank you for your message. We'll say thank you for signing up. Hope you enjoy the content. Actually, maybe it's nicer to send them to a custom URL after they sign up. So I'll send them to the archive page for the premium content. Let's add that URL. And we'll save. And let's go to marketing and CRM integrations. And let's add an integration. Here's our user registration and update. And here you map the fields. Okay, so it wants a username field by default. It's going to use the email address, first name, last name, and password. That's all fine. So I think we want to add a username field. So I'm going back to the editor and let's add a field, a regular text field. Okay. And this one will be called username and it should be required. And, and let's see, here we'll call it username also. Set the max length at 25. Okay, I'm going to save the form. 
Let's go back to site and integrations, to marketing and CRM, to add a new integration. And now we map the field. So email, username goes to username, first name goes to name, first name, last name goes to name, last name, and password goes to password. Okay, so we've mapped the fields for the user registration. And now we want to set it so that when the user is created, they automatically get this role, site members. You can add other fields for user registration here, and we'll have the user automatically logged in after they register. Okay, so I'll save, and we get a short code here. Now let's go to pages. Let's create a page. Join our program. We'll add the Fluent Forms block, which lets us select a form and publish. Okay, and so we want this URL. Let's go back to the home page and edit it. And now let's add that site URL, join our program, okay, and update. Okay, now if we've done this correctly, our process should work and a new user should be able to sign up and access the member-only content, but the member-only content should not be accessible to someone who's not a site member. So I'm going to open now a incognito browser window will go to the site so i'm not logged in we can see there's this member only content videos but we don't see any videos ebooks but we don't see any ebooks and mastermind webinars okay so now let's go to the home page and let's join okay so we'll add the user and join and here we go now to our premium content and we can see it and enjoy it you see how easy and quick that was to set up let's go back to our logged in page and just show you here the user was created and we were using the user role method but if you were just using access groups, then you can manually add them here. Okay, so that's an overview and walkthrough of Sure Members. Now for some discussion and conclusions. Sure Members is the result of a collaboration between Adam Preisler and the Brainstorm Force team, the makers of Astra Theme. This is good because you have a team with deep programming expertise and knowledge of how WordPress works, combined with someone who knows what users need and is familiar with all of the other solutions available. The result is Sure Members, a simple modern system that anyone can use. WordPress membership solutions tend to be expensive, so I purchased it as soon as it was released so that I could get it while the lifetime packages are available and before pricing increases. Sure Members is a new plugin. It's very solid and it's being actively enhanced and extended. I've been very pleased with it and recommend you take a look at Sure Members should you need this type of membership functionality. So that's my look at the new Sure Members plugin. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.